As you recover, be sure to rest throughout the day and slowly return back to your daily routine. It is normal to lose your appetite for several days after an operation. However, proper nutrition is very important to your recovery. Your discharge instructions will include information on a recommended diet. A well-balanced diet, including fresh fruit, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and lean protein after surgery is recommended. Exercise is recommended to work up an appetite. If you are having trouble with working up an appetite, consider having small meals four to six times a day with a well-balanced diet such as fruit, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. After surgery, the combination of anesthesia and pain medication may cause you to become constipated. It may take a couple of weeks for your bowel movements to return to normal. You may experience painful intestinal gas. This is normal. Walking is the best thing you can do to help with gas, pain, and bowel function. Drinking plenty of water, eating fruits, vegetables, and bran will help you to avoid constipation. Try to incorporate fiber into your diet as much as possible. It is also important to make sure you are taking a stool softener if you are still taking pain medication at home and struggling with constipation. Having one soft bowel movement a day is a good goal in the weeks following surgery. If you have not had a bowel movement, over-the-counter laxatives may be helpful. If you need help managing your bowels, call our office and speak to the nursing staff. After surgery, many patients have questions about how to care for their wound. Your discharge instructions include information on how to care for your wound at home. Please follow the instructions provided by your care team. The number one rule for wound care is treating the site with clean, disinfected hands. Be sure to wash your hands thoroughly, rubbing them with soap for at least 20 seconds and rinsing under clean, running water before and after touching your wound. If you had a chest tube or drain placed during the surgery, it is usually removed before discharge. If this is not the case, you will be given instructions on how to care for the tube or drain while at home. The dressing over the chest tube wound site can be removed two days after the chest tube is removed. Until then, keep the dressing clean and dry. After removing the dressing, you can leave the chest tube site open to air. If your site is leaking a little, then you may need to cover it with gauze and tape to protect your clothes. On top of the layer of skin, you will probably have a layer of clear glue that may be itchy at the site and may flake off after one to two weeks. If you have a small stitch or surgical staples, they will be removed seven to 10 days after the chest tube is removed. They may be removed by your home nurse or during your post-operative appointment by a member of the care team. You may also experience numbness around the wound. While sensation usually returns to the area within three to six months, some patients experience numbness for a longer period of time. Once you have removed the original dressing from the incision, you may shower. Do not scrub the site with soap. Lightly cleanse the skin with soap and water and pat dry. Avoid peroxide and antibiotic ointments. Do not soak the incision site. Showers are okay, but baths and swimming are not. You may submerge the incision in water once all scabs have fallen off and the scar underneath is well healed, typically two to four weeks after surgery. While in the hospital, you may have gotten off your normal sleep cycle. Do not worry. It's normal to have trouble sleeping right after surgery. If you're having trouble falling asleep at night, limit yourself to a short 15-20 minute nap during the day. If you are still struggling with sleep, contact your primary care physician. Your care team remains available to you throughout your recovery. If you have questions or concerns, contact us using the numbers listed on the last page of your discharge papers. The instructions will include phone numbers for team members that can be reached outside of regular business hours, like in the evenings and on weekends. For urgent or life-threatening emergencies, call 911 or report to the nearest hospital emergency room. Please contact our office if you experience a fever or temperature higher than 101.5 degrees, increased redness, pain, or swelling at the incision site, new or increased shortness of breath that does not go away with rest, drainage from the incision site that is thick, cloudy, or foul-smelling, continued weight loss two weeks after discharge, a large increase in mucus coughed up from your lungs, or a change in the color of the mucus, yellow, green, or bright red, diarrhea for more than 24 hours, or constipation for more than two to three days. 
we will set up a post-operative appointment before you leave the hospital. If this has not been arranged, please call our office as soon as you get home to schedule your appointment. Your follow-up appointment will be scheduled for two to four weeks after your discharge date. You will receive information in the mail with directions to the post-operative appointment, as well as information on when to arrive and what to bring with you. Patients who have signed up for MyChart will also receive post-operative appointment information through the platform. You will need to have an x-ray taken prior to your appointment. If taken at an outside medical facility, be sure to bring the disc of the x-ray with you to your post-operative appointment. You can also have the external facility send the disc of the x-ray to the thoracic surgery office prior to your appointment. Lab results take 7 to 10 business days. If the results are not back by the time you are discharged, you will be notified over the phone or in person at your post-operative appointment, whichever is earlier. Your doctor will talk to you about when you can return to work during the post-operative appointment. Thank you for choosing Johns Hopkins for your thoracic surgery. Our patient-centered care team is dedicated to you and your recovery process.